I have been in Uganda for about one year and two months doing my dissertation research. Um, the work I'm doing is funded by um, Dr. Norman Bollard Leadership Enhancement in Agriculture Program. Um, this is a fund for graduate students who do work in developing world. Well, most 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 of the research goes on in Africa. My research is focused on food security. Yeah, food security is a big concern globally, but it's more critical in in Sub-Saharan Africa and more so in Uganda. There are over 300 million people who are hungry every day, and in Uganda, we have a very big problem in the northern part of the country where uh, people were displaced for over two decades. Uh, two decades and uh, about 1.8 million people displaced and they were living in squalid displacement camps. And so when the war ended in 2006, uh, these people are now moving back home where they came from. And there are lots of problems and infrastructure is still not good and so there are many projects that are helping people uh, recover and develop so i've been working with one of those projects uh, this particular one is called food recovery project which is funded by usaid but through scdi voca but this project is specifically focused uh, on households who are returning from displacement camps. So specifically, I look at uh, the role of social networks in food security. Um, we have, uh, the focus now is to really help um, these, uh, these households to form work groups and work together. Uh, it's realized that other approaches that have been predominantly used by international aid agencies and NGOs uh, has not been working very well. They have been accused of ignoring what people can do for themselves and instead focusing more on what they can really deliver to these people. So now the focus is to encourage people to work in networks so that um, they develop local institutions that can then be responsive to such crises and help them. So I I'm trying to understand whether formation of such work groups, uh, encouraging people to work in networks, helps them acquire resources and then whether that can help them attain food security. Yeah, a typical day depended on um, the part of the uh, the part of the uh, season in which I was. At the beginning, um, I would go with the, the Red Coast staff and join them in their work. This would typically uh, include like going to attend a training session for the farmers and sometimes visiting groups when they have their programs and things like that or going to work in a, a small demonstration garden which is a model farm like that. But eventually when I go to understand more about the project background uh, then I identified some research assistants and uh, we did a training and we started going uh, to selected households for interviews. So we interviewed about 332 households in total. Iowa State is a, is a great place. I have I was lucky to, to meet many people from here before I joined the university. So when I came upon so many friends and your colleagues, so I think the greatest thing here has been the people. And I've had a really very, very nice time here. The first two days I came here, I was living in a professor's home, and so the people are really what I'll, I think, miss most.